Cotton Eco on your washing machine. What is it? How do you use it? And how does it compare to the regular cotton program? Well, first of all, as the name implies, Cotton Eco is actually an ecologically friendly option. It uses less water than a standard cotton setting and it also uses less electricity. Now this also implies that it's very economically friendly for your wallet which is awesome. The trade-off is however that it takes a lot longer to do your laundry if you're going to use it, uh, the cotton eco setting. That is because the cotton eco setting generally heats up the water a lot slower than you will find that the regular cotton option does. Now this comes with its advantages and disadvantages. Um, if you have a lot of time on your hands, for example, if you're doing housework or chores around the house, Cotton Eco can be a fantastic option since you can just uh, set it and forget it. But if you're in a hurry, for example, you're, you need to wash a shirt or something that you need to wear right away, uh, Cotton Eco is not the way to go as it takes for ever to wash your clothes with it. Now, since it heats up the water so slow, it is actually really cost effective. You can save up to 60% on electricity. Also it uses less water, so that means less wastewater, which is awesome for the environment. Now, compared to the regular cotton cycle, it is, it's a hard to pick because the regular cotton cycle is more effective. It's a little bit harsher in general, while the cotton eco setting is more like a gentle setting. It has lower spin speed generally, less agitation. On average, I would say it uses colder temperatures. You can adjust this. I mean, my, my washer allows for up to 60 degrees with a Cotton Eco, but generally I like to put it at 40. It takes forever to heat up the water to 60. Now, since Cotton Eco is such a gentle cycle compared to some of the other ones, that does allow for washing more delicate clothes in it, thin, think more flimsy or thin clothes. Uh, however, it's not as effective for removing uh, stains, soil clothes, perhaps you want to go with a regular cotton cycle instead. Uh, I will also say that for the thicker garments or more sturdy ones, think jeans, uh, towels, some thicker cotton in general, I think I would recommend going with a regular cotton option instead because they kind of need a little bit more agitation to be cleaned compared to more delicate clothes. Now if you have for example a Samsung washing machine that's fantastic because you then can put on eco bubble which is actually really eco-friendly as well as really nice for cleaning out stains and Hotpoint also has a pretty good one called Active Care which also is an eco-friendly option that you can use to uh, dry clean your clothes quite effectively while consuming less resources. Also, if you have something called Wi-Fi mode on your washing machine, that's really good because then you can kind of pay attention to how much water does my washer use, how much uh, electricity does it use. Really nice to be aware of. Now, I will say though that just going over to eco cotton instead of regular cotton, it's not like a one-stop uh, problem fixer. I also recommend that you perhaps invest in some dryer bulbs, perhaps a dryer rack to further reduce consumption. Also, if you want to be really eco-friendly, I actually recommend going over to washing machine uh, detergent sheets instead of using your liquids or even pods. Uh, as you see, there is a lot of plastic, there is containers, sometimes there is even plastic in the pods. I strongly recommend checking that out. I'm gonna make a video about that also in the future. If I haven't yet, I'm gonna recommend a product in a link below this video. If you use my link, you will support the channel as well, which is awesome, if you ask me anyway. <laughs> All right, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.